What's up? It's Nika with Fashion Nika. Oh my god, it has been a minute. I am back. I decided to take a little bit of a break because I had just started a new job a couple months ago and I really wanted to just like make sure that I was mentally there. But I'm back and I'm so excited because I missed you guys so freaking much. Like I haven't even thrifted in so long. So yeah, I'm really excited to be back. Thank you so much for being patient with me for those who stayed and stuck around. It means a lot. But today we are doing a video on my favorite thrifted um, designer handbag. These are gonna be tips on on like where you can find designer bags because it doesn't necessarily have to be at a Goodwill. You can utilize online stores and get it for a really good price too. So yeah, if you are interested, keep on watching. One place that you can find a designer thrifted handbag is obviously on eBay. Um, I bought this Dooney and Burke vintage bag. This was like the first designer bag that I like splurged on. But I didn't even splurge on it thinking back. I bought this like five or six years ago when I was like a freshman in college and Dooney and Burke bags were like all the rage. And um, I remember I bought I think like six or seven bags and this is just one of them that stuck around. I, I pretty much sold the rest of them, but I really liked this one because it's just a simple black pebble leather bag and it's very timeless. And I thought um, I would totally just keep it for you know my future daughter if she would want this bag I would hand it down to her I just think that utilizing eBay or like Poshmark or any of those online stores are really great because you know you, you can type in exactly what you're looking for and you can narrow it down and filter it from price low to high depending if you like want to spend a lot or spend a little so yeah that's also great and you can also make an offer so if you're not like fully satisfied with the price that they put out you can always try Try and haggle with them and most of the time they will haggle back with you anyways I got this bag for $15 and that's pretty good because back then like Dooney and Burke was such a hit that you would probably spend like around $80 for one of these bags so yeah this is a one of my favorites that have stuck around for a long time. Moving on to the next. The next place where you can thrift a designer bag is at Goodwill, obviously. At any local thrift store, Goodwill, what have you. Um, this is one of my favorite finds. I honestly just found this one a few months ago. I am so excited. This is a Philip Bloom bag and I just love the color. It's a zipper so you, can, you have the option of zipping it in so it looks like that like micro look but I really like it this way I don't know why I just like the flaps like that it's so cute I saw this in a lot of my Instagram pictures and I don't know it's just been such a handy bag and I've realized that I am obsessed with like these brown colors especially for the winter time it's just such a nice taupe warm color it looks great with creams the trick is like you really need to dig when you're at like a goodwill or a thrift store because this one was hiding like in a bin like at the very bottom and i managed to find it and it was only seven dollars so i was just like wow this is lit so yeah this is one of my favorite purchases. Anyways, moving on to the next way you can find a thrifted bag. This next one is actually another like Goodwill find. Um, this is a Dior little clutch. So I actually found this in the travel section of Goodwill and I highly recommend that section because I feel like no one really goes there unless they're looking for like a suitcase or something. But going in there because sometimes like really nice things can get lost in there and no one really like knows to go over in that section but that's how I ended up finding this one I found this little Dior clutch I I don't know if it's a clutch per se or like a makeup bag but I made it a makeup bag so like I'm not gonna really show you everything but just know like all my makeup is in here and it fits like beautifully I was on the hunt for a makeup bag so when this popped up I was like this is gonna work out just fine and I just love that it's like that vintage Dior it's so funny because when I bought this I got it for six dollars and then like literally the next week or so I found the exact one at like this designer thrift store and it was $55 so yeah 
definitely such a good steal. The next way you can find a designer thrifted bag is asking for hand-me-downs. So I, oh my god, I'm so excited that I grabbed this because, so this was actually my aunt's and she handed it down to me like maybe... I want to say almost 10 years ago she gave it to me because she was just like over it and I was like yeah I'll take it and I honestly wasn't a huge fan of the style but I just like knew the brand name is obviously like designer so I should take it right and like I eventually I eventually would love it and um, I'm really happy that I grabbed it because now like because the Dior saddle is so huge right now it's the same exact print as this like I wear this all the time I'm so excited about this bag oh girl I love it so much and I think it's also very special to me because it was handed down to me by a family member so if you don't want to spend anything uh, on a, a designer bag you can always try asking your mom your aunt uh, anyone that has vintage bags that they are not into anymore because more likely than not they might just pass it down to you so definitely try doing that so you guys have probably already seen this one in one of my videos it's this Louis Vuitton bag I got this bag at a garage sale so that is another place where you can look for designer handbags and oh my god you guys I don't know if you remember but I got this one for four dollars and I love this bag so freaking much I just love the color of it it's just very special to me also because it was just such a fun day it was by luck that I found this bag it's a great uh, size too so yeah anyways going to a garage sale is definitely one place that I'm gonna start hitting up um, in 2019 because I realized you can really get good deals there too um, because a lot of times it's just people who want to get rid of their stuff because they have way too much anyways moving on to the last item last place that I recommend you looking for a designer handbag is at a crossroads crossroads is one of my favorite um, buy sell trade thrift stores because they hand select their items and they still keep it at a really affordable price obviously goodwill is still like the best but if I, I'm feeling lazy and I just want to like find good pieces quickly then I'll go to a crossroads um, they also have so many designer handbags in like glass shelf the last item I'm really excited about I actually thrifted it today I knew I wanted to film a video for Fashionica so I'm like let's go thrifting my boyfriend and I we went to the thrift store and I found nothing except for this one item so I'm like okay I guess I'll film a designer thrift handbag haul but yeah I'm excited about this one still, even though I found nothing. I still came out a winner. I found this really beautiful Marc Jacobs bag, a little crossbody. I think it's so cute and so unique because it's basically like two different bags. I don't know. It has like two compartments. I really, really like it because of the gold hardware. And for some reason, Marc Jacobs leather is like low-key so so nice it's very soft and supple um, I do appreciate their leather this it was a little bit pricey for what I wanted to pay for Marc Jacobs but I mean I guess it's not that pricey it was 30 bucks but even looking on Poshmark their used Marc Jacobs bags are still pretty pricey so I think $30 is actually a pretty good deal for this anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video of different ways you can access um, designer handbags it doesn't necessarily have to be at a goodwill because you know sometimes when I go to a goodwill there's nothing and I get discouraged but then I realize there's so many ways you can find a designer handbag for super affordable whether it's a goodwill um, a hand-me-down from a family member a garage sale or even just going to like a buy sell trade thrift shop there's so many ways to access it oh yeah even online so don't ever feel discouraged if you can't find something you have so many ways to access these handbags if you are a handbag fiend like I am <laughs> anyways thank you so much for watching you guys I hope that was helpful also be sure to subscribe and like this video if you haven't already I will see you guys next week because I'm back all right take care guys hugs and kisses bye